Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to uh, kind of part two of our formulas stuff here. We talked empor empirical formulas last week, or last lesson. We're going to talk molecular formulas now. And uh, I mean, this kind of ties into empirical formulas because why do we care about the empirical formula? Well, the reason that actually matters a, is pretty easy to find if you're going to break something down. But if you can get the empirical formula, you can find the molecular formula, which is a really useful one. You can find that molecular formula if you know one other piece of information, the molar mass. So if you have an unknown substance and you know what bits make it up in what ratio, and you know the molar mass, you can find out exactly what its molecular formula is. Let's take a look at how we do that. Step one, well, not step one, but example, compound contains 49.98 grams of carbon, 10.47 grams of hydrogen. So a very similar start. I mean, we got percent last time, but we'll just give you the grams right away. And we know the molar mass is 58.12 grams in a mole. Find the molecular formula. So as we said, we can get the molecular formula if we know the empirical. So let's do that first. 49.98 grams of carbon divided by 12 grams in a mole. Uh, grams per mole. There we go. Grab my handy dandy calculator here. Nope, no, not the internet. Come on, calculator. 49.98 divided by 12 gives me 4.165. And I've got 10.47 grams of hydrogen divided by basically 1. 1. Point, what is it? 1.08, if I remember correctly. 1.008. That's called 1.01 .01 grams per mole. 10.47 divided by 1.01. .01. Gives me 10.36. All right. If I want the molecular formula, I got to divide them both by the smallest one. Four point one six five. Well, that'll give me one. Ten point three six six divided by four point one six five gives me two point five. And I can't have decimals, so I got to double them. All right, so my empirical formula is carbon two, hydrogen five. This is all a rehash of last, uh, last lesson. So if you're lost at how I got this, I went pretty fast. You can go back and watch the lesson from uh, last class and you'll see where this kind of came from. But my empirical formula is C2H5. So we've got my empirical formula. Now, how do I get molecular? First, I find the molar mass of the empirical form. So remember, our molecular formula has to be a unit of this, so to speak. So it could, I can double it. I could triple it. I could quadruple it. You just kind of see where I'm going with this. It's going to be a unit. So this base empirical formula is like my base unit. It has to go in multiples of that. So let's find out what the molar mass of the base unit is and see how many base units I have to put together. So let's do that. I got two, my base unit here is two carbons. So two times the molar mass of carbon is 12 times five hydrogens. So two carbons is roughly 24 plus five hydrogens. I end up with 29.03 grams per mole. So this is the molar mass of the empirical formula of like, we'll call it one unit. I got to find out how many of these units I tack together to actually create my molecular formula. How many C2H5s do I have? So to do that, to find out how many C2H5s, I divide molecular molar mass, I divide the molar mass I was of the whole compound by the unit mass. So I was told 58.12 grams per mole is my actual molar mass. And I know each unit is 29.03. So I divide those two. That tells me how many units I have. I have two empirical formulas, two units. So if my empirical formula was C2H5, and I have two of them, my molecular formula, this would be C4H10. I just double it. We'll do one more quick one here just to figure it out. Nitrogen is 46.68 grams. Oxygen, 53.32 grams. And I know the total molar mass is basically 60. All right. So 
How many moles do I have? Molar mass of nitrogen is 14. Molar mass of oxygen is 16. So let's divide those two. So that's 3.33, 53.32 divided by 16, 3.33. Oh, look at that. It's a one, a one to one. So it's NO. That's my empirical. That's nice and handy. Empirical. So what do I do with this empirical formula? Well, I need its molar mass. One nitrogen plus one oxygen. So it has an empirical molar mass of 30 grams per mole. One unit is 30 grams per mole. And my whole thing is supposed to be 60. So if the whole thing is 60, the molecular unit and each empirical unit is 30, we just divide them. And it tells me there are two empirical units. So my final molecular formula would be the empirical formula times two. Two n's, two o's. So that's molecular formula. That pretty much sums it up. Again, you'll just need a bit of practice to kind of get used to where things go. But uh, that should be all you need to know for now. So I will catch you guys next time.